what if everybody said that? <clears throat> Words by Ellen Javernick, pictures by Colleen Madden. To my grandchildren, Allie, Katie, Haley, Carly, Ty, Izzy, Zach, Nina, Setter, and Meg. For Mr. Key, the King of Kindness. At the park, some kids asked if they could play with me. I said, no boys allowed. Their mom yelled at me. What if everybody said that? No freckles allowed. Hey, no big kids. What? No climbing for girls. That's mean. In art class, we were drawing dogs. I looked at the other kids' pictures and said, those don't look like dogs to me. And I laughed. <laughs> the art, so those kids don't look very happy, do they? The art teacher made me apologize. What if everybody said that? It's garbage anyway. I really am a bad artist. I'll never draw again. At the beach, I just wanted to scare my cousin. Look, I teased, there's a shark. The lifeguard heard her screaming and called down to me. What if everybody said that? <clears throat> shark, swimming polar bear, monster hermit crabs, the undertoads, peanut butter and jellyfish. During sharing time at school, I really wanted to tell my class about my new shoes. I shouted, me first, me first. Our teacher frowned at me and said, what if everybody said that? And so in the next page, it shows you what it would be like if everybody actually said that. This is my turtle, Flash. He's the fastest turtle known to man. I am an elk. Look at me, look at me, look at me. No, no, me, me, me. This is an extremely valuable baseball signed by Lefty LaRue. It's never been out of the box. It's that special. I believe it's my turn. Me, me, me first. This is a Camilla Paca. My aunt brought him back from her rock climbing trip in Nepal. Me, me first. This is my favorite comic book called Crab Boy and a Lobster Girl. They can't, they crime fight under the sea. Me! When a boy in my class got glasses, I said, you sure look funny. The principal heard me. He shook his head. What if everybody said that? And what if everybody did say that? I thought they looked pretty. Oh my God. So these are comments in a, like a Snapchat or something. OMG, did you see the new girl? Those braces, LOL, metal mouth. What's with the, what's with the flowers in her hair? Weirdo, totally. Wow, you are really bad at math. This is so hard for me. That shirt looks so weird. When one of the kids forgot her lunch for our field trip, the guide asked some of us to share ours. I said, no way. I'm going to eat mine all by myself. The guide glared down at me. What if everybody said that? When our teacher was in the hospital, the substitute suggested we make him, a get, make him get well cards. I said, maybe later. I'm busy playing now. The sub held up the empty card box. What if everybody said that? Right? It was an empty box because everybody said they couldn't make the cards right then. On the soccer field, when my team was losing, I said, this game is dumb. I quit. When the coach blew her whistle. The coach blew her whistle. What if everybody said that? Well, I guess if everybody said that, you'd see an empty soccer field like this one. 
When a new kid moved in next door, I told her, I've got plenty of friends already, and I don't inv and I didn't invite her to play. Mom heard and gave me a disappointed look. What if everybody said that? Hmm. The next day, I went to the girl's house. I said to her, I'm sorry, let's be friends. Welcome to the neighborhood. Oh, your cat is so pretty. Do you want to play with me? We could, we could go ride bikes in the park. What if everybody said that? Everybody should. So what I want you to do is think about, are there things that you say out loud that maybe you shouldn't be saying? Would you say it if you thought about it first? Do you think about how what you're saying might affect other people, how it makes them feel? So you could put yourself in their shoes, think about it from their point of view, and then before you say it, and then decide if you really need to say that or not. What if everybody else said that, what would life be like? But then again, think about the end of the book when she was saying the nice things. What if everybody said nice things all the time? How would life be like then? This is a great book to think about how we act and what the words mean that are coming out of our mouths and how they affect other people. What if everybody said that? How would it be in the world?